Thank you, ma'am. You are able to hear me? Thank you for the introduction. You are able to hear me, ma'am? So, thankful note. Just give me a second. audio clear initially had some disturbance yes, yeah it's clear right yes ma'am audio clear yeah. thank you how are you all doing today you've come to the last session and the last day of ftp and it's the last session of ftp how are you all today can i have the answers in the chat please there are 43 participants Will the participants will be able to message on the chat or they are restricted. Happy, thank you, Chitra ma'am. What about others? So we had that. Initially you had you're happy, thank you, yes, ma'am. What about others? Yes, please. Thank you, Dr. Sir, and others. This is because we are doing it in online only. This is the way that we could find how many of you are really connected. Very happy. Thank you, Zina, ma'am. I hope I'm spelling your name right. Already right, have got your topics on different sessions, and hope each of the session would have been really, really useful to you. On today's session, happy to be with you to get useful knowledge. Thank you so much, Dr. Sudama. All right. And um, today we are going to see about image processing and analyzing. How many of you here have already worked in image processing? If else, what are the packages you have used? How many of you have used work with image uh, analytics? What are the packages you've used? Yes. At least let me get from you yes or no. Yes. Thank you, Professor Sabitri. Ma'am, could you also share what are the packages that you've used? It could be any language. It could be any language. What about others? I've done your research using MATLAB with necessary packages and tools. That's that's nice to hear. Thank you, Sudama. And today's session, we are going to focus on using Python. What about others? Either let me get an yes or no. Have you used or, or if you have not used? Yes, please. All right. All right. So today, once again, I would like to thank Dr. Swagata, ma'am, uh, and the entire team for having invited me uh, to give the handle the session of uh, it's going to be a hands-on session on implementation of image data processing and analytics. How many of you have joined the session using um, systems or laptops or using mobile? If it is mobile, type in. If it is laptop, type L. If it is a PC, type P. Is it L for laptop, P for PCs, and uh, M for mobile? PC, thank you. What about others? 
We've got 48 participants using mobile. Mm -hmm. So mobile, it would be quite challenging. PZ is OK. All right. So in today's session, uh, it's an I we are on the part of deep learning and its application. And uh, some only I have got response from two participants that they worked and others I'm not very sure. If you worked on image processing, type Y, if not type N on the chat. All right, so it will be easy for us to go whether from the scratch or from the top level or top level or how it is to be done. That is what I always get insights from the participants before we start off. Hope my screen is seen. Are able to see my screen? Thank you. We all want to have an active session or a passive session. Active type A on the chat, passive type B on the chat. Don't think why this man must keep on asking something about the other to type. Thank you, Jean. Okay. It's all ready. Yeah, thank you. Let this put it as good. Let's see. And listen carefully to the talk. Need more interaction and liveliness. Yeah. And then the, at the end of the talk session, um, we are going to have uh, a live quiz. And then from which we are going to see who is going to be the winner of the day. All right. So cheer up yourself. This is your fifth day of FTP. And this is your final session of FTP. Like once again, I want to thank the entire management of Sri Sairam Engineering College. Like on the session, the topic given to be handled is hands on to implementation of image data processing and analysis. All right. How are you going to take image and how are you going to process it? And what is the insights that you're going to take out of it? Right. And under the, you know, they've got given an introduction and these are the details of my contacts. Okay, I have was in engineering colleges for a decade, and then I'm basically now I'm a data scientist, keynote speaker. I've trained more than seven thousand plus people on machine learning and deep learning technologies. Right? Okay. Let's have a quick game to start off with. Some of you would have played this game. For some, it is new. You need to read the color of the word, but not the word, not blue. Rather, you need to read it as red, blue. Yellow, green, black, red, and so on. Okay, from the first to the last, and again from last to the first. It'll be given thirty seconds. Let's try. Is the rules of the game clear? Before we start, we've got images, but you don't need to read the letters, but you need to read the color of the word. Yes, no. Able to understand the rule of this game? Yes, 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 we can understand. Thanks. Let's start at the end of it. Chances will be given for one or two people to share your experience. Let's start. Green, red, keep your mic on mute. You have to read it, then you need it. First, from the start to the end, I want everybody, and from last to the first. Not the word, but the color of the word. From the word yellow to the final brown green, and from brown green to green yellow. Green, red, blue, yellow, blue, black, red, green. You can have, yeah, blue. now the time is over. How many of you are able to complete it? What is their experience? Finish it. Yeah. Able to complete or not able to complete what's their experience? I'm not able to hear. Able to hear me? They're all able to hear me, right? Yeah. If uh, some of you are giving your answers on the chat, 
They are top to bottom able to come with, but not bottom to top. Thank you, Ashwini, ma'am. What about others? What about others? How many of you tried? At least if you tried on the chat, T that you tried. Thank you, Kalai Selvi, ma'am. Others? You can also share your experiences. How was it? Was it easy or was it difficult? Any responses? Interesting. As same Ashwini, able to complete from top to bottom. If I would have given to ask you to read the word, everybody would have completed. Okay. A simple change, but rather than reading the word, but you have to read the color in which it has been typed. Okay. So if you take mesh processing here, lots and lots of images are being processed every day. Okay. Before which, if you want to take a picture, you need to go to a studio, a probably before 20 years. Right. Imagine before 2000 and all. We didn't have that much of mobiles with cameras, right? Nowadays, per day, how many pictures each of us we approximately take? It could be a selfie, it could be capturing of moments. Yes, no? We all take pictures using a mobile. Maybe a children picture, a family picture, or college events. Yes or no? You can give your answers on chat if you find... Unmuting the mic was difficult. Completed with the, it looks, uh, it looks for a concentration level very interesting. Need at least 50 seconds to one minute. Okay. For relaxation you take, all right. So, so many photos we take in our mobiles, right? So here, today we are going to see about these packages. The SK image, which stands for SkyKit image, and then NumPy, all the B images, okay, all the images. NumPy, it stands for numerical array, okay, it stands for numerical uh, array or numerical Python, NumPy, all right. Here, whatever is the image that you take it, all right, and once you load it on, the data type of the image will be stored as NumPy. During the hands-on session, you'll be able to explore it even more. All right, in SK image, the functionality that we're going to use is filtering techniques. What are the different filtering techniques available? There are multiple techniques that you can employ on all these packages. For simplicity, for per package, I've taken one particular functionality that you'll be able to use it. All right, using NumPy. All right, and we are going to do masking of image. All right, and then next third package is SkyPy, which stands for Scientific Python. Using the packet, we are going to have the demonstration on the smoothening images. The next package is the fourth package is pill, or you say it is below. Here, we are going to have image filters as with SK image, and also how to enhance your images. All right. And the predominantly used package for image processing and analysis is OpenCV. It's OpenCV. It stands for Open Computer Vision. Right, and it is all these packages are free, of course, you need not pay for it. Right, and then here we are going to see the basic operations of OpenCV, and then we are going to see about uh, uh, reading, writing, and displaying images. All right, and then changing the color spaces, resizing images. All right, then image, image rotations, then image translation, a simple image thresholding. All right, then edge detections and the phase detections, right? So let's see, we are starting the session right now. It goes up till one. The maximum, whatever it's to be completed, I'll be able to complete it. All right, so these are the five packages. So SK image is one package for image processing, NumPy, SkyPy, Pill, and OpenC. All right, so these are the basic, basic packages. Predominantly, these uses your Python language. Right, image processing using Python. So in our world today is full of data and images. Right, one particular professor told, uh, let me see her name on the chat. She has worked on image processing using MATLAB, Dr. D. Sudama. Yes, so when you, what is the difference between MATLAB and why do you go for Python? MATLAB is also a very, very good tool. 
I don't deny to it, but it has a paid version. But when you want to work it at home or anything, you can go on for Python, where it's totally a free version. It's necessary packages and tools. Is there anyone like Sudha ma'am who have done their research using um, uh, image processing? Yes, no? Okay. Feel free to unmute your mic and speak. And also, you could uh, give the answers on the chat. Ma'am, I've done multiple vehicle detection and tracking. That's good. That's good. Ma'am. Then you should have used only images or even put a video analytics too. All right. So when you take images, right here, you've got lots of lots of images, right? Yes, process with large volumes of data sets with real time video. Yeah, that's what I thought. When you use multiple vehicle detection, you generally go into video analytics, right? Even video analytics could be done using Python, right? So, how, however, to be used this images, you need to process it. As Sudha Mam said, how, how was she able to process the videos, right? How many frames, how to remove the frames from that, how to draw the contours, how to detect the objects into it. And then after that, how do you find whether the real object is a vehicle or not? And how many multiple vehicles are crossing, maybe on a traffic, on the road, or near the traffic signal, and so much and so more. All right. So now when you take image processing, and um, here, when you take, it's a process of analyzing and manipulating your digital images. Okay. Uh, before that, we go to a studio, we take a picture, and you get only the printout of the soft copy, the hard copy of the photographs. Right. And nowadays, we don't even, how many of you have taken printouts of the photos that you've taken? You have taken multiple photos in your mobiles, right? How many of you recently have taken a, a hard copy? of the printouts of the pictures that you've taken. Anybody? I asked you earlier how many pictures you take in your mobile. I didn't get response. Print. Occasionally, family celebration, we take photocopies. Yes, rightly said, Sudama. Other, from your mobile, you take a lot of photos every day. Do we take a printout? But everything is not an, an, a hard copy of the format. Most of the images are into the uh, digital format. So when you take image processing, it is the process of analyzing and manipulating digital image primarily to improve the quality. How do you extract information? Like as Sudha ma'am said, multiple vehicles to be detected and tracking. She worked on object detection and object tracking. Already, right, there are different packages of variable. All right, so here from the digital image, you would have seen a lot of CCTV footage, right? Like very recently, I saw I was so shocked to see the video of a, a woman, right? Uh, in Chennai, in outskirts of Chennai, she was trying to, uh, she was just chasing a rat on a balcony. Suddenly, she got a heart attack. Within a few seconds, she fell down in the same place and she died. How many of you saw the news? It, it just happened last month in Chennai. Very young lady. Herself and a small son, maybe she would be almost 10 to 12 years. Those are running. They had a CCTV camera on the balcony. They're chasing and running the rat and coming. And as soon as this, suddenly this woman stopped, immediately she fell off and she passed it. And because of these informations, otherwise they, were, they would have thought whether it's a murder or not. Like this with these information. So like a lot of places you have CCTV where you can process images, right? When you take the, in medical science, like wherein you have like um, CT scans, like MR image, PET scans from the x-rays, wherein these are digital images, we need to improve the quality. If there are some filters, if there are some sorts of paper or any noise over there, and you need to extract information so that it could be a use of an information. So for this kind of different applications, I told you about the vacants, like as Sudha Mam said, I told you about the CCTV, Right, I told you about the medical image. Do you have any other ideas of processing images, digital images? Feel free to unmute your mic and speak, or you can also give your answers on chat. But I want, I want some responses. All right, let me see when I get responses on the chat. 
all right and then here if you see it's a process of it's a manipulation of visual data in that to achieve some increasing the quality of the image i don't know some of you if you work in photoshop or after effects you'll be able to understand through it or you want to derive data from whether this particular patient is infected with a disease or not or for any other support staff right however when it comes to application of this technology you have to bridge how you see things uh, how we see things and how devices digitally view things right because digitally they view the things that's it how are you going to extract what is the information insights that you really need to know about from the images so any time an image can be represented as a 2d function okay f of x comma y where x and y are spatial coordinates all right so any image that is what i told this in carefully whenever we take an image and load it on to a python or using any packages right once the data the image is loaded into a package All right. The type of the data is is only an NumPy array, which is a matrices. Okay, it's a matrices of x cross y, where each value of the matrices denotes the pixel value of the image. I'll show you the demonstration, where you will be able to understand even more better. Yes. So the amplitude of f at a particular position, at a particular value of x comma y, is the intensity of an image at that point. So you take a picture, you load it onto the Python package, and once you find, maybe it could be a JPEG image. But once it is loaded into Python, the type of the JPEG image would be NumPy. It stands for numerical Python. It will be an x cross y matrices. All right. And the the intersection of the Grids of x cross y at one particular point. Uh, that's the amplitude of f at a very particular point. It shows the intensity of an image at that particular point. If x and y and the amplitude is finite, which is not being changed, then we call it to be a digital image. Once it is a finite image, and then we call it to be a digital image. It's an array of pixels arranged in columns and rows. Right, pixels are the elements of an image, right? Uh, containing the information about the intensity and the color, like RGB color, right? Is it red, green, and blue? All right. So, and also an image also can be represented in 3D images where you have an another coordinate, all right? X, Y, and Z. Okay, pixels are arranged in the form of matrices. So this is known as an RGB image. Whenever you have a third dimension, you go in for an RGB image. Otherwise, it will be just X and Y. See, can you see here a two D image? An entire image you can see here. Likewise, this is one particular pixel of that image. So when you use a three D one, okay. So the first is a red. The next layer is the green, and the third layer is the blue component of the image plane. If it is a three coordinates, able to understand the two D image and the three D image. Participants, professors, kindly respond. Yes, thank you, Sudan, ma'am. Sudan, ma'am is one of the good actor participant. Thank you, Kalai Selvi, ma'am. Okay, see so when you take it to the image, only X and Y, and that particular is a black mirror image. That particular does the pixel only between zero to two hundred and fifty-five. When you take a three D image, right, a red channel, the blue channel, and the green channel, and each channel will be of a right. Thank you. Only two responses out of seventy participants. Let's see. Only if you respond, then only we'll be able to understand really you're connected, or you just switch on to the FTP and then you're starting doing your own work. Okay. Now various types of images, right? There are various types of images. I told you about RGB, right? Which is red, green, and blue channel image. Okay, it's a three layer of two D image. It contains a three layers of two D image of red, green, and blue. Okay. And when I take grayscale. Okay, these images contain shades of only between white to black, and they contain only a single channel. Grayscale image always contains a single channel. Listen very carefully. If I want to process my image, I'll be taking a color image or a colorless image, and then I'll convert into grayscale, and then only I'll be start processing on it. 
because using grayscale as a single channel wherein i'd be able to extract information from the image all right able to understand the rgb it contains the three layers of 2d image like it could be red green and blue channels right and the next one is grayscale image where it contains shades of white and blue on a single channel any doubts till now yes i hope you are able to understand right okay so what are the common image processing tasks available right so you we have to take the set of images you have to display it okay how do you crop an image nowadays you do everything using your mobiles right a cropping of an image all right and then a flipping flipping from left to right and right to left all right and then rotating your image okay rotating and then image segmentation and then how do you segment a part of an image right how do you segment a, a, a part of an image and then classification how do you classify whether from the image whether this is a deceased or a not healthy patients and the patient with the disease or patients without disease how do you extract necessary features like uh, so the mam said the object tracking and the object detections right what are the features that they going to extract from it then image restoration from an older image how to be able to restore any information into it and then image recognition okay see when you say why do you go for python for image processing it's an excellent choice okay why because it is open source you need not pay for it and here every day python is increasing how many of you know this package called pypi python package index every day python is growing you did you about it pypi pypi okay here people they develop lot of uh, packages and they post it on to it for that you will be able to take those packages and the associated packages and you will be able to work on with that okay so the python library is that we are going to see our sky kit image the numpy the sky pi the pillow and the open c coming into the computer vision when you take computer vision there is a predominant package that has been used okay the science and technology of te teaching a computer teaching you are teaching your computer the interpreted images and video as well like right? as a typical human like you you interpret both images and video as well right so that's what it does you are teaching when you show an image um and before we had biometrics what biometrics will do biometric certain and so many colleges you have i got how many colleges you are here i don't know maybe the coordinators will be aware of it we have biometric attendance in your college where you are working right now yes no or in some colleges you have face recognition in some colleges iris recognition yes why so no response how the attendance of be taken each of the institution that you work are able to hear me you are able to hear me is my voice clear then Yes, sir. Ah, okay, okay. Since I was not able to get responses, I was not very sure whether you able to hear me. Okay. Okay. Shanbaga ma, recognition of certain characteristics of an individual. Yeah. So here, when you take right recognition. so when well, you teach the system to understand if the features of so much and so much then it is doing if the features are like this it's sogada ma if the features are like this it is sudama the features are like this is estana or somebody right so it could be uh, when you keep a biometric it takes the image of your biometric 
that's right and uh, when you take it as iris iris is uh, your i think right it's unique for every individual and also nowadays because after this covid you get face recognition you go and show your face and it's you're teaching the system to interpret the images and videos as them all right so uh, here the it encompasses the field of image or video processing pattern recognition right what are the different patterns if the patterns are like this what it could be a biological vision artificial intelligence augmented reality avia like mathematical modeling like uh, this week we had an industrial talk from our college we are providing internships for students all right out of the part of the internship we had an industrial talk all right in that industrial talk uh, yeah we did have a talk on 3d and deep learning it's available in our channel if you go to youtube and check it out the rain robin you'll be able to find it out again next wednesday we're going to have the next industrial talk on ai industrialization if anybody if you wish to join i will send the registration link to the coordinators so you can register and listen to the talk it will be like one hour talk on july 20th between 7 to 8 so whenever we take internships and the next internship comes from one month on data analytics using python on every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday for one month. There will be an hands-on session for the students and progressive use. They'll be doing a project of those technologies that they have, they have learned. And they will be getting a certificate from the company. Our company, CIRF, is the Computation Intelligence Research Foundation. You can find it at CIRF.co.in. Section 8 company, we have registered under Ministry of Corporate Affairs. If anybody is, is the information useful, you can share it and you can also always find time to contact with me through WhatsApp. Okay. So many take SkyKit image, right? It's an open source package that works with NumPy Apex. Here you've got a lot of algorithms that is usually used uh, are utilized for use in researches and also for industrial application for education. It's very, very straightforward method. This code is very quality, and then here it, you, it is very useful for you to get into it. Like I told you right now, you remember in the content slide, I told, in SkyKit image, you're going to work with filtering. Okay, so I'm going to use import matplotlib, that is for visualization, or by plot as PLT. Right? Then from SK image, I'm going to import two things. One is data. Again, one is filters because I am not going to load the data. I'm going to take the data that is already available in the SkyKit image. And I'm going to import the uh, images called as data.coins. And then I'm going to declare another variable, adjust is equal to filters. So, well, you should get a load. So, but okay, so but. And then I'm going to print out those images. It's called Sobal filter. Again, passing that image, and I'm using PRT, and I am sure of this edges. Now let's see onto the. Okay, so you're able to see now. So I'm using four labs. Okay, I'm, I'm going to import matplotlib.plot as PLT. We are importing this package for visualization. Matplot is a package for visualization. It's a package for visualization. And then from SK image, so the first package that you're going to use is SK image. From SK image, I'm going to import data and filters. I'm going to declare another variable called the new variable images equal to this value data dot coins of. I'm going to show this is my image that I've loaded, right? This is my image, plt dot coins. And what is the type of image? I told you, right? Whenever I load an image, the type of the image would be a number dimensional array. So this is the shape of it of this image. You see 
is that they met, but it is an umpire of three cross three. It's a three not three cross three eight four. And this is size of it. What is the difference between size and shape? Anyone know any one of you say? What's the difference between size and shape? This is the number of rows and columns. This is how your image is looking like the number array. You all think like when I load the image and I using PRT dot image dot show, I get my image like this. You could see it's a coins image, right? And I but when I only display um, image. I'm getting it as a numpy array. I'm getting it as a numpy array. Able to understand? Able to understand? And likewise, you've got a lot, lot of uh, a lot of uh, data. Data dot coffee. See here, that is a black and white image. So I'm getting only rows and columns. Here it's a channel of red, green, and blue. So I'm getting three channels here when I loaded the next image. Size, exact pixel. Size is a multiplication of rows and columns. Number of rows and columns multiplied. The channel, green channel, the blue channel. So when I was trying to type image that is the coins i got only three three not three comma three eight six or something but when i loaded this coffee remember when i loaded this coffee and then it was showing us image dot shape can you see three channels red green and the blue channel and this is how images will be seen in then 3d image do you want to try this? Or I don't know whether we have time. Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. Kindly do try it. Open colab.research.google.com. Then import matplotlib.py plot as PNG. Then type from SK image import data comma filters. Image is equal to data.coins of like that. You have got a lot of see these are the images. I've downloaded and signed it. Mm -hmm. and then I'm showing and the type of the image is a numpy array. Can you try this and you can tell me once it is done. I hope you're able to see in my screen. Quickly type once you have done, post it on the chat as done. All right. Are you able to see in my screen? It's from okay. And you do try it out and you could see whether you're able to load the images yeah. and the type of the image type of image is an umpire
I hope you are all trying it out. Like Alyssa Limam has given, she has done, yes ma'am. How many of you have completed this? Can you give it as done on the chat? So let me know whether you are really working it out. Yes, please. Please do respond. Other than Alyssa Limam, I didn't get response from anyone. Yes, no? Okay, let me move on to the next one. So image dot shape and image dot a size. Image dot shape, I get the rows and columns because it's a two dimensional array. All right, and then uh, if I want to type in my image, I'd be getting like this. If you want, you can try it out. Image dot shape. We're trying. Thank you, Premala Kamla. image dot shape image dot size and the image so you see it as an image but inside here each of the value represents the pixel value of the image Have you tried? Once you are trying, you can post it on the chat as well. It will help me to understand that they completed. 75 participants are here. I want everybody to try it out. Because with a lot of efforts, I am engineering college and the department of AIDS and ISCS sponsor for enriching our knowledge. I don't want to be wasted. Okay? Trying it. Thank you. Now, next, moving on, you can also, that's an example of two-dimensional array to be loaded. Then it's just like data.coins, I'm declaring another variable. Don't use the same variable. Use another variable. And data.coffee. You remember, we had data. data.coffee doing thank you and same image dot shape image dot size could be done We've just got next 40 minutes to go.
even with this you will be able to do the direction of the cup or a spoon or water color and so much and so more so this is the red green and blue channel okay the red green and the blue channel so this is how the image is there so it's a multiplication of form and it will be of this format of this matrices all right so able to understand how a 2d image looks like and a 3d image looks like yes or no please do answer yeah important responses yes so so now we are going to do the filtering there are different kinds of filters available right one such filter is called filters dot sobel okay sobel filter the so sobel filter generally is used to find uh, the edges of a closed image right uh, two things like contours and edges right uh, edges of a closed image so are called contours edges totally in the entire image you get it but contours are only for closed objects since it's a uh, coin you get a closed object as, as such as well you get it over here right so here you can see, can you see the difference between the first image and this image? Right, it just is equal to filters.sobel of the image variable where I loaded, I show you here. This is where I loaded image is equal to data. .coin. So this variable image contains the coins image and image one contains the data. .coff. All right, and here, uh, if I'm going to see it's a three dimension, so it just is equal to filters dot filters dot so below. If you remember, I imported data comma filters. So from SkyKit image, I imported data and filters, data dot coins of filters dot so below, right? Filters dot so below. And can you see there is a line of which drawn around the coins? Can you see there's a line drawn around the coins? able to visualize it they're able to see it yes please yes or no okay so this Filter is used to find. So when you want to find edges of a closed object, you can use Sobel filter from SkyKit. This is Laplacian. Can you see Laplacian filter? Here you can see about the image of the coins. You can see the image of the coins. Okay, but it is not. This filter is not suitable for finding edges. Okay, for finding edges. For finding edges, you can use Sobel filter. And the next, there are several filters called Gaussian filter. So when you see the Gaussian filter, it's even more clear about the objects of the uh, coins, but not the edges of it. Right? Likewise, there are different filters like Robert's filter. And this is the Robert's filter. Even in Robert's, you can here also it is used to find the edges of an image. Able to understand SkyCat image, which is able to be used to find the edges of an image. This is another image astronaut. This is the grayscale of the image. Able to understand filtering can that, that we have used in SkyKit. We have seen different kinds of filters like Sobel filter, the Blasian filter, Gaussian filter, and Roberts filter. Out of which you could find it out Sobel and Roberts, they are mostly used for finding the edges. Right? Like this, you have plenty full uh, filters available. Like this, you have got plenty full data that is set within the uh, see, these are the data like data.cat, cough, coins, and so much. I showed a demonstration of coins and a coffee and camera, we showed to you. And these are the different filters we have seen so, Gaussian, Laplacian, Median, <laughs> so much and so more. According to your problem definition, you need to take it up. 
all right so this is how you can take images right for using sky kit image data dot coins from data dot coffee that i show an example now the filters also i showed you okay the next package that we're going to see is called as a numpy okay it's one of the core libraries in python program even in sky kit image right whenever i take an image and once i load into the data the data type is a numpy array like here it contains the array contains the pixel information of the data points so using numpy you can go in for slicing of an image or masking of an image or fancy indexing and that not only this there are so much and so more in doing it as well all right and here the image can be loaded using staked image and displayed using so then we have the so then we have the dots out of that one particular function that we're going to see is called as masking function you are able to understand participants you are there with me am i fast okay thank you prema latama zayana thank you because once you give me response and i'll be able to understand whether really you are able so now we are going to see how to use a masking function all right so whenever in a pixel value of your numpy array if the value is 0 it is black if it is 255 it is white okay if it's 255 it is white so cat is equal to data dot jcsia i'm going to take a cat and i'm going to show and plot the cat okay if you want to do a uh, masking of the red green and blue channel right so i will show you then you see a red cat a bluish cat and a uh, green is cat then you will be able to understand it so if i'm going to use for this image right the image 3 right it's a two dimensional array not a three dimensional array x and y all right and then mask is equal to image 3 greater than 255 all right so i'm masking everything to zero so the value will be between 0 to 255 if it is black it is zero if it is white it is 255 so if i'm going to make it less than 87 can you find the difference between masking white becomes black and here black is and um, white is it's even more clear than this image can you see the line has been drawn over here All right. All right. And value is greater than two hundred. I'm making it to be zero. And when the value is less than eighty-seven, that is almost to be black. I'm making it again to be two fifty-five white. So I'm making the black portion to be a white portion here. And also here, if you see, cat is equal to data dot chelsea. Yeah, this is an image that is available inside our. A sky kit image package. So I'm printing the type, and here you can see it is a three dimensional array, three hundred four fifty one comma one. I can do a slicing operator, only ten to twenty, or I can make that to zero. And here you have got three channels: red, green, and blue channel, right? So when I have uh, colon colon zero, this will be. So red dish is equal to the red channel, green channel, the blue channel is greater than zero. Then i'm making it to be 255 okay red green and blue so it becomes a bluish channel so now supposing if if i'm going to change the next value see here see here listen carefully if i'm going to give this value as 255 and this value as 0 what color will be my cat can any one of you say please Can any one of you say please? Can you see this is a greenish cat? 
So if I'm going to make the first channel to be 255, only those values it is greater than 160. Sorry, I am not given a square package. What color it would be? Can you see? When I assign the channels accordingly, that's what I told. When values are uh, X, Y, and Z, it's a 3D image. Where it contains a red channel, green channel, and the blue channel. I'm declaring variable called reddish, where I'm taking all the rows, all the columns, and the final column zero that is greater than 160. Only those values alone I'm taking it. And in that, here I've got different channels the red, green, and blue. Whenever I open it to be 255, accordingly I'll get my greenish channel, or a reddish channel, or a bluish channel. Able to understand? Participants, kindly give a response. Yes, sir. Yeah. Any doubts till now? I don't know. It's a handsome session, but the time is highly limited. That's what only for the first one we were able to do. And also, I'm live streaming the entire session on my YouTube channel. Also, post which also if you've got time, you can pause it and try it all. And do it. Yeah. The next package that I'm going to show you is called SkyPy. All right, SkyPy is another package like NumPy and SK image. Here you can work with n-dimensional NumPy array. Right. Also, you can use it for linear, non-linear filtering. Binary morphography, these plan interpolation, and if you want to measure optics, for those you can use Skype. So here I am going to take an image, and I'm going to blur the image. So that I'm going to import MS, MIS, miscellaneous, and ND images. So like you have from SkyKit image, I import a data, right? Here in SkyPy, if I import MIS, in that package I got images. I'm going to import faces. And then, and it's an n dimensional image, right? I told you, right? When you work, you work with n dimensional array, I'm importing an ND array, all right? ND image, okay? So, phase is equal to MISC of phase of blood. And then I give ND image for Gaussian filter. As we use Sopel filter for finding that just the Gaussian filter of phase, comma, sigma is equal to three. The value of sigma if it is going to be more and more. The blur effect would be more. How many of you have used a blur effect in a phone, mobile phone? Like when you take a portrait picture, you see, when you keep the objects closer, the surrounding would be blur. How many have taken images using uh, portrait in your mobile? Share some experience, please. Otherwise, you all said you want to have an active uh, session. How many of you have taken images with portrait mode, portrait mode? I hope you are able to hear me, right? Is my audio not over? Are you able to hear me? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, okay. When you don't give a response, I, I always think that. Uh, Hello? Yes, ma'am. You have taken, right? So, when you take an image in a portrait mode, when you give it very close to the object, you can see other than the object, the around places will be blurred. Okay? So, for that, like that, you can do it using your. Skype. Show on the screen now. So. Mm. 
from sky pi image, I'm going to import MISC and ND image. So phase is equal to MISC dot phase up. So I'm going to import one package with an n-dimensional array. Here it's a 3D image, like right? 764, 1000 something, 1024, come on. It's a three-dimensional image, right? So here we take here print phase dot shape in the rows and columns, dot size, multiplication of it. The type of the phase is a numpy array. All right. So this is the three dimensional array of the. They say what? What is the name of this? I forgot. Some phase of an animal. Oh. Raccoon. 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 Okay. It's an image of a raccoon. So. Here I'm going to give blurred face is equal to ND image dot Gaussian filter. And here also I'm going to use Gaussian filter of faces comma sigma is equal to 5. Very blurred sigma is equal to. Can you see the difference between very blurred and blurred? Very two variable. Blurred in face and very blurred. In blurred, I'm having the sigma value 3. In very blurred, I'm going to have sigma value as 10. All right. Can you find the difference between this image and the following image? This is blurred image. This is very blurred. This is blurred. This is very blurred. Can you see the difference when the sigma value is changing? Yes, thank you, Kali Salima. Only from a few I'm getting responses. I wish everybody to respond. From 50 to 60, now it has become 85. Okay. Able to understand SkyKey package, NumPy package, and SkyPy package. The packages were completed. How many of you are with me? Next is the pillow package. Pillow, it stands for um, Python Imaging Library. If you are taking notes, kindly do take the notes. Python Imaging Library. Right? So, using this pill package, I can use it for opening of image, manipulating of those image, all right, and also saving it in different formats, like from JPEG to PNG, like PNG to any other formats that you wish to. Okay, that you wish to have it. So here, um, it is stagnant, which was uh, last release was on 2008, but it is uh, actively deployed in PIL. Okay, it is easier to install. So what I'm going to show you in PIL is that. Um, they're containing the same thing like pointing of op point operations, all right, and then built in convolution kernels of for filtering and color space conversion from RGB. You can make it to BGR in a sense. So, you we have seen about how RGB image you remember the reddish cat, the greenish cat, the uh, red, green, and the bluish cat. Okay, so here you can change the color spaces. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to import numpy. As well, I've done it before. So from fill, import image, where I get the set of images, and then image filter or image enhances. Okay, image filter then image enhancing. So here, I am equal to image to open up content drive. So I'm mounting my drive. I'm going to load the image. Okay. And then I'm going to increase the sharpness of the image, brightness of the image, and color of the image. Okay, other things I'm going to show it in fill. It is defining the increasing the sharpening of an image, brightness of an image, color of an image. How many of you here you work with the photos that you take, increasing the brightness, or any software, sorry, or any apps that you use to edit your photos on the mobile? I want somebody to interact at least two to three.
how many of you editor increasing the color font uh, sorry color the brightness in your mobiles also please pre filter unmute and speak also no problem but i want you to speak are you all there with me no it's wrong okay Yes, edit that Suganti Paul. Mama has given. Yeah, I do edit informations. You have done it. Thank you, Prem Ratha. To get answers from faculty is right. It's the most challenging task. Okay. So let me show them off it. Mm, we have got just 15 minutes. This is an image. This is the original image and that I'm loading it on. Both are the image. Don't this is one image, this is one image. Both belong to the same image. I have taken an image with an enhanced form. So that here you can see RGBA format of 684 into uh, 682 into 412. Can if I increase the sharpness of both image, can you find the difference between this image this image and this image with the increasing sharpness you are able to find don't think these two are two different images both are same image but i made it into a single image with the original and the 30 percent enhanced okay next i'm going to show you how to increase the brightness of the original and the enhanced yeah, I can increase how much ever I want to enhance. I can enhance the brightness colors. Here it is color of I am of enhance. Enhancing the color. Can you see the color becoming enhanced here? Yes, no? Yes, no. Okay. Thank you. So this is how it works and the final package we have come in about 15 minutes more. Let me see what is the best that we'll be able to do it. All right, CV, open CV, right? See, computer source, computer vision library. It's the most widely used libraries for computer vision applications, right? So here it's an API for open CV. It's not only fast, but it's also written codes with C, C++ or GC for you to code and deploy it. Okay, so when you take computer vision, it's a field of deep learning, okay, that ensembles machines to see, identify, and process images like humans. It behaves like humans. How many of you know about Sophia the robot? Yes, no, no, yes. Sophia the robot. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. There, you know, it is trying to mimic like a human being. Right? Likewise, here, it, this is a project that has started in Intel. Intel. Okay, it's currently the largest computer vision library in terms of number of functions it holds, number of functionality it provides. The open CVS currently has more than 2,500 algorithms. It has more than 2,500 algorithms. You can go and visit it afterwards. So there are multiple operations it does. It does multiple operations. How to read it, how to write images to back to it, how to use the displaying image, change it. But it, 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 this package is a higher level package in comparison to all the previous four packages that you see. All right. Yes. Image rotation, image translation, how do you threshold of an image, and edge detection and phase. You can also detect the phase from multiple uh, multiple phases like you can have box if i'm going to load in my picture and then if i'm going to use hard cascade package right and then i could see a box all, all over and wherever there is a image on the picture that has to be loaded so basically i'm using creating a black image in b0 so i want to have a line image a rectangle everything using Python, everything you see, Python. So when you take reading and writing, I told you, right? See, 
listen carefully right now see when i see load this image into the um, packages right it changes to be as numpy array all right so it converts into a pixel value so this is the image loaded this is the pixel value of it and can you see whenever it is white black around that you get zero when it is white or more white you get it as 255 can you see here so this is how the images are red and python able to see on the screen Participants, the pixel that shows the intensity, intensity of the pixel value. So here, every number has got the grayscale value. So we always convert to grayscale before you start working on with that. All right, and then here you see red, green, and blue channel, right? And uh, for instance, how do you take an image? How do you show the image and how it works on? So if I'm going to import import matplotlib and try plot as plt matplotlib is a package for data visualization all right and then um, i'm going to load in my image I'm going, i don't know you can change in the color space from bgr i'm going to be making it rgbr so wherever it is blue it will convert to red wherever it is green it will remain the green wherever it is red it will become blue okay i'll show you the demonstration now as we don't have much time and also i can change it to be grayscale and change images read the color of the image and so much and so more all right after next few minutes we'll start working so i'm using open cv2 import cv2 i'm going correcting it so i'm first i'm loading the image i'm showing my image one so this up but actually my original image is like this so whenever i take an image in open cv it is it is in the format of it is in the format of bgr actually when it is going it should be blue it should it will be red wherever it is red it will be but this is not the version image so when i take an image i immediately need to change the color space from a blue green red to red green and blue okay so once i'm just showing the image one this has been plotted here and next in image only i've made the change of the color space and this is the original image can you see how it works and this is the next image okay this is messy okay you know this is the original one but i loaded it it is into wherever it should be red it is blue wherever blue it is red i hope you are able to understand if i'm making it to be grayscale then I will be getting the grayscale of an image. And also there is another format called HSU, hue saturation value. Okay, so this is how when I increase the hue saturation value, we get it like that. All right, and then you've got, uh, I'm not going more into with interpolation, making the image smaller, stretching, right? Uh, interpolation, linear interpolation, it works with the pixel value, inter area, inter nearest, inter cancels, four. Okay, and I'm not going into deep into the coding, but I'm going to show you how can I resize the image using interpolations and the different smaller, bigger, and also using open CV, I can rotate images. All right. And also I can shift the values. So say for example, if you're going to process with medical image processing, whatever is the value of images, size of images, you get MRI, CT. Before you feed into the algorithm, you need to resize everything to your one particular size of an image. Then only you will be able to process it faster. So that these are some works that you definitely, definitely need to work with your pre-processing. And also for loading it onto a grayscale, Right, and these are the different thresholding mechanisms, and this is used to find the edges. So I'm not going deep into it. Resizing, image rotations, translation shifting of the image. 
So here when you take edge detection, there are two differences, edge and pointed detection. Edges are point in an image where brightness changes sharply and is discontinuous. Right? But when you take contour, when you take so, it takes about the entire image, okay, for classification of objects, for image segmentation, for sharpening of images. Edges are different from contours, right? But in contours, it only checks for closed objects like coins. If there is a tumor in the MRI, right, and the closed objects alone will be taken for contours. But when you take edges of an image, it takes for the entire image. It takes for the entire image. So by counters or only for continuous points, edges are for discontinuous. Right? Here, when I show to you, see this is a canny edge detector algorithm. Can you see this is an MR image with the tumor on it? Alright, this is the original image. And then you can keep processing on to it. Okay, this is how it is different. But when I take contours, see this is a closed object, right? When I do a contour, there are people, can you see here the green line? You have to understand the difference between the edges and the contour detection. Edges detection and the contour detection. Able to understand? Okay. So let's start playing the live quiz. Let's see. I will share this link. This join soon. We'll complete it within five minutes. Wait, this is participant here. It's not open. Yeah, just give me a second. I'm opening it. Just give me a minute. Sometimes, always, it happens in the internet. It's just simplify and seek your questions. Yeah, it's not open. Yes, yes, yes. The entire session, I've streamed it online. All right. I will share uh, uh, the link with you. I don't know why it is taking time to do. Let me try it from another system. Any questions you've got? Can you do post it? Yeah, now it's open. Yeah, I'm getting it. This is the YouTube. Uh, yeah, can we start now? What is the type of image once loaded into the core lab? Is it PNG or JPG or NumPy? Once it is loaded into the Python. Yeah, some of us, uh, 14 of you have participated and uh, Six of you have the right answer. Out of 82, only 14 of you participated. Let's see who's the winner of the session. 
You should give the name. I don't know whose brand broken and why they why yeah, ma'am and pray malata. Let's move to the second question for the day. Which functionality did we try using SK image during the session? For first image, right? Whether it is enhancement or cropping or filtering. Fifteen of your answer. For using sky image, that's the first package. We use filtering, you remember super filter, Roberts filter. The Plasian and Gaussian filters are the ones that we try during the session. So the chopper is the GAN Kalai said we ma'am. And Premlata ma'am is the fastest. And Zayana is on the third. Zayana or Zayana. I'm not sure whether I'm spelling your name right. Let's move to the third question for the day. What is the default Im image mode I showed you, right, in OpenCV? But uh, you remember blue, red, whether it is BGR or RGB or HSP. Whether, then we converted it. I showed you the image of one of my thumbnail of my talk. What is the default mode of OpenCV? Rightly said, most of you, you have given three right answers. It is BGR. Then only you remember I converted into RGB. Let's see who's the fastest. I think Kalai Selvimam is always the fastest. The first is Kalai Selvimam. The second is Zaina. And the third, somebody has given their name as Didi. I don't know who's the Didi. <laughs> Let's see. Let's move on to the fourth question as we don't have time. We've got just two minutes to complete the session. In NumPy array, whether the values of the array inside the NumPy represents the pixel of an image, true or false? True or false? DD is Divya, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. The, in the NumPy array, the array value it represents the pixel of an image. Yes. 16 of you have given the right answer. It's true. Next, we're going to go to go for the final question of the day. Okay, the BMM is the fastest. Collect in first place, second is Zaina, and third is again another DBM. Okay, let's move to the final question of the day. Question. Finding the edges of closed objects on the image denotes edge detection or contour detection or none of the above. Closed objects with continued, continuous points. I told you the difference between edge detection and contour detection. Mm -hmm. Out of 84, 20 have given the response. I don't know what about the other 60 or doing it. And it's right. It's their direction. Now we are going to see who's the winner of the day. Let's see who's the winner of the day. Probably Kali Selvima. Yeah. It is Kalai Selvi, ma'am. The second is Divya, ma'am. And third is Zaina, ma'am. Thank you all for the good participation. 20 members participated out of 84. You can share your feedbacks. And during which 
7. I'll share the YouTube link. Very useful. Any other questions, you can post it onto the chat. Yeah, I will share the video link right now. Just give me two minutes. Not even two minutes. I will share the link. The entire session link will be there. I always uh, post all my sessions on my channel so that anybody who could make it useful. I hope the session would have been useful. And we're going to come out with the internship for students and faculties on image processing the following sessions and the, the, you can visit my website uh, cirof.co.in and share in my contact details sometimes it's so complex many of you have given good feedbacks we are interactive innovative effective learn more concepts perfect explanation thank you you all for a good feedback. It's every day is a learning process. Every day is a learning process. Being a teacher or being faculty, the same idea is for You can other get other details onto my company's website and this is my YouTube channel. I post it things on to everyone i hope you can get all those videos and today's session youtube link i will share it right now so i'll share those link also to you you can use the you can share kindly it will give you a comment YouTube uh, link will be more useful uh, even for people who, who see to it or right, to understand how to give graphs as input in deep learning. There you you need to give a graph, you need to give it into a matrices of the nodes and the edges that are packages for it. The weights of those edges that could be done. Any yeah, other doubts? Do you have any other doubts? So this is a link that you can get it up. I've shared it with you. You can give your likes or commands or whatever. So next question. Thank you, ma'am. So it's already one four. Thank you all uh, for joining. Any other doubts you could ask me? Which model is suitable for stone encryption images? There are different images and uh, there are different packages to extract information from it. And when as and when you try different packages, like I showed you right in the filters itself, like in one particular filter, you are able to see, like in Laplace and it was only grayish color, in Boston, you're able to see even more robot source or edge. Likewise, we need to work with different uh, inputs, with different algorithms, and then we'll be able to figure out which would be the best. You've got plenty for packages. Any other questions, please? In the, I, anybody could share your experience, like who was the top of like right? Thank you all for joining. Over to the organizers. Thank you very much, Mom. We had a wonderful session. The session was so lively. We are happy to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. 
Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, participants. Friend me through the Atman Slim posted in the chat. And for the after session, we have the validity function. We will share the assessment files. So, based on which you will be assessed and your certificate. Thank you.